day, nothing like an opportunistic video, the Kofu Hikawai Road. Nothing to do with the old Thames gold fields. But in February 2023, we began puzzling, at least a few of us, just where this big slip was. And how did it occur? Well, it occurred to me that some of the old techniques that I've been discussing before might be useful in looking at this. The newspapers talked about it briefly near the summit. But exactly where it was, they didn't say. So we thought, first of all, let's find out where it was. And with a bit of detective work, this is the spot. You can see in the early photos taken as the slip developed, cracks in the road. And by using Google and Street View, you can find the exact point and line it up. And note, on either side of the guardrail, there's a dip. The road is sort of a causeway across that. So how did it happen? As an armchair expert, I'll give you my views. First of all, the construction of the road some 50 years ago was a mammoth effort with very rudimentary equipment by today's standards. There must be photos around, the only ones I could find on Althea Barker's blog site. These give some indication of the kind of territory they were going through. Cuttings, filling in a big job in an area of high rainfall and big contours. So, what is the area around the slip like? Google Earth helps us. Looking here, you can see I've exaggerated the contours. There's quite a contoury bit around the slip area. Now, don't be fooled by the fact the road seems to give a dip here. This is a peculiar thing in Google Earth, which is more or less following the original contours. The road is actually straight across that area. This gives us our clues. Going back and using the same techniques I've used in the gold mining videos, let's look at the early maps. Well, the only early maps I have are aerials. And this one from about 1973 shows exactly what was done. As you can see, the dip in the road at that point was leveled out by putting lots of fill across it to form a causeway. Obviously compacted and done to engineering standards of the time, but that area, some 10, 15 meters deep, is obviously the weak point. You can see how it's been built up and in the videos taken by Mr. Philip Hart and the other photos, you can see how it looks as if that fill has collapsed. The exact area of the slip is where the most fill was put in. So whatever caused it is a bit of a mystery. It seems clear the weak point in the slip area is where that fill was put in. So that's a very quick summary. Whether you need overseas experts to correct it or not, I leave it to you to think about. It seems pretty obvious 
what has to be done. Something has to bridge that area that's a bit more robust than what was done 50 years ago. Thank you.